Our God, our Guardian. Psalms chapter 127 and verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Our Lord is the only guardian for us. Even though we have many modern instruments like surveillance camera system, automatic door lock management systems working with voice identification or thumb finger indication system. All of these and any other intelligence system may fail at one time or other. There may be possible to overcome all these safety systems and enter into our safety zone and do harm to us. Nowadays we can see in lot of countries there are breach through incidents happening even though they are having most advanced intelligence systems. King David was a great warrior and he fought many battles in his life and won all of these battles. He faced deadly aggressive fights in his life. But one thing David did was, he always kept the Lord as his shield. He said in Psalms chapter 44 and verses 6 and 7, For I will not trust in my bow, nor shall my sword save me. But you have saved us from our enemies, and have put to shame those who hated us. Psalms chapter 46 and verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. David believed in God and put him as his aid. Psalms chapter 16 and verse 8, I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand I shall not be moved. If we want victory in our life, we have to keep the Lord always before us. When the Lord is with us, no enemy can touch us. Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 8, For thus says the Lord of hosts, He sent me after glory, to the nations which plunder you, for he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. If we abide under the wings of the Lord, then he will cover us under his bosom and keep us safe from all the plots of the enemies. Psalms chapter 18 and verse 39, For you have armed me with strength for the battle, you have subdued under me those who rose up against me. Psalms chapter 18 and verses 17 to 19, He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Psalms chapter 27 and verse 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 3. The God of my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my saviour, you save me from violence. If we want a safe place in this world of uncertainty and confusion, then we have to come to the Lord and commit our lives to him. He will take care of us and deliver us from all the violences. Verse of the day, Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Prayer Dear loving Heavenly Father, we come before your presence with praise and thanksgiving heart. Thank you Lord, for this new day. Thank you for today's Bible study. You are our protector and guardian from all the harmful ACTS of this world. Please Lord cover us under your arms and keep us safe as your apple of the eye. We are praying for the peace of the world. Please Lord bring harmony between the people and nations. Please Lord bring peace within our walls and in our neighborhood. Thank you Lord for answering our prayer. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ name we pray, Amen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment and share.